Its shape is like an ordinary mountain, but with a missing side, as if someone had taken a sword and carved out half of the mountain. You may be curious about the missing half, but don't worry. There's a legend which will explain the whole story. Once upon a time, when Ban Pin Shan was still undivided, a small village existed at the foot of the mountain. One day, an old woman who was selling dumplings came to the village. She had white hair and her clothing was very old and worn. She carried a heavy load of hot dumplings, which looked and smelled deliciously good to eat. However, everyone in the village thought the old woman was stupid because she yelled, Hot and delicious dumplings, one for 10 cents. Two for 20 cents and three for free. Can this be one and three dollars for free? This is old lady checking up. Who cares? I'll try three dumplings first and see whether or not it's good. Mmm, these dumplings are so good. If I eat three, I don't have to pay, right? I never tell lies. The old woman kept her word and didn't charge Wang any money. The other villagers began to order the old woman's dumplings. Everyone ordered three free dumplings. No one ordered either one or two dumplings. After a while, the load of dumplings was all eaten by the villagers. You all do have a good appetite. Aha! I found you at last. You're the 
person suitable enough to be my pupil. I'm the mountain god behind the village. Everyone realized now that the old woman was actually the mountain goddess. To find herself a trustworthy and kind-hearted pupil, the mountain goddess had disguised herself as a senile old woman in order to test the people's hearts. Her dumplings were not real dumplings. Her dumplings were made from mud that was dug out from the mountain. After the villagers heard the mountain god's explanation, they ran to see the leftover dumplings. However, all they could see was a pot full of mud. When they turned and looked at the mountain, they saw a, ma a mountain with a missing half. The mountain god took the young man back to his place and prepared to teach this kind-hearted man all her magic. As for the villagers, they felt really disgusted about eating all the mud and wished they could vomit out all the mud they had eaten. They regretted their actions and blamed themselves for being greedy. After this incident, the villagers referred to the mountain as Ban Ping Chow.